Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome another video. Now this just came up as uh, I was just doing some stuff on the phone and so basically what I needed to do was I needed to extract the fingerprint from my phone like you know the factory one but because I'm using custom ROM the fingerprint is obviously different so you know I wasn't able to use you know the ADB get props uh, functionality and also what, will be, what we will be doing is updating you know this uh, magisk hide props config magisk module so this um, what this module does is all it does is just change you know the device fingerprint uh, um, systemlessly so that uh, you should be able to pass you know the CTS check now, unfortunately, this didn't help on uh, Graphene OS, but I think that's just a different issue altogether. Um, but yeah, that's what I was trying to solve. And so I just came up with like a nice way of doing it. So I'll just kind of walk through it. So the first thing that we need is we obviously need some kind of a stock firmware to work off of to grab the fingerprint from. So the fingerprint is inside the build props file. So the easiest way to get this is just search for a pixel a factory firmware. So I'm using a pixel 7a, by the way. Uh, you could probably tell by the <laughs> number of videos coming out. So yeah, it's usually the first link here. So developers, Google, blah, 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 blah. So then you scroll down here, scroll down, scroll down, and then there you go. So make sure you get the version that you want. So there's like a couple of different kind of fingerprint options that you can probably use here. But this is the kind of stock one that I'm using. So we just download the link here. It will come up as a zip file. And the best way to do this would be to download WinRAR, I'm sure you are all familiar with this program like <laughs> it is a free freaking compression tool that everyone has so what you want to do is you want to open this up uh, ignore the purchase <laughs> go into here and then you'll have another zip file here so what you can do is open this file up here as well it's going to take some time to decompress and you can like, you know, open zip within the zip. So that's pretty cool that WinRAR allows you to do that. So anyway, now that we're inside the zip, what you want to do is you want to grab this system image and copy it over. I already have it here. And so once you do that and it finishes copying over, you can just close down WinRAR. Now, next thing we need is ext 2 explorer So just search for ext 2 Explorer. Now this is because this system image is actually a Linux ext4 format so um, you can't open it directly on Windows because Windows is shit but yeah all you need to do is just download the ext2 explorer and make sure it's actually the explorer um, Was it this one, xt 2 re No, I don't think it was this one. Or maybe it was. No, I don't think it was. It's the xt 2 explorer Why is the fucking search so shit? Like, oh my god. Come on, for fuck's sake. Um... All right, well, I don't know why it's not showing up, but anyway, let's go into here. Uh, let's see, does this guy have a link? No, he doesn't, of course, why would he? Um, all right, this is some weird French thingy. Okay, so it is a CXC to read. Huh, interesting.
Yeah, I guess that is. Let me just download this again to make sure that that's actually what it is. Let me open it in WinRAR. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so it is actually XT to read. What the fuck? But then you download the XT to Explorer. Very cool. Very fucking not confusing at all. Fuck's sake. Fucking hate the internet. So anyway, once you downloaded that piece of shit, um, it's gonna say make sure you're running as administrator, but we don't need to do that, so just press OK. Uh, if you run it as administrator, you can open, you know, um, like actual disks mounted, like ext4 disks, but all we need is the image. So click on this file and then click on the system that image, and then just double click on this. And then this looks a little bit fucked, but anyway, what we need to do is we need to go into system. And then here we have the build props. So just right click, save, save it to desktop. And then you can close this down. And so now here we have the build props like so. And so all we need from this is just this line here. So you see the fingerprint. So all we need to do is just copy this whole line here. But before we do that, what you want to do is you want to download this um, Magisk, Jesus, Magisk hide props config. So you can download this from the box um, module repo or, well, not really from here, I think. Worked well. Yeah, anyway, I just downloaded, you know, the Magisk box manager, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, Fox Magisk module. <laughs> oh, damn it, man. Fox Magisk module. Mod, no, my few. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Yeah, so here it is. I am pretty sure it's this one. Don't remember where I downloaded it from. Um, what the fuck? No, it's not this one. It's the fucking Fox one. God, why is the search so shit today? <laughs> um, yeah. Probably. All right. Yeah, that's it anyway. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Let me go here. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. So here, you download one of these. Um, download the first one here for ARM sixty four. So that should be fine. Fucking hell. Okay. And so then once you open up this app, you can search for Magis Kite Props Config and download it here. And so that'll be all good. Christ almighty. And so yeah, now what you want to do is you want to open up this fucking thing. Fuck off. Christ almighty, what is going on here? Go into the common uh, folder here. And then open up this princess h now i'll probably open up for you a notepad but it doesn't matter just open it up somewhere and so here you'll see a big list of uh, fingerprints so what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way so like for example for the pixel as you can see here i added this um fingerprint here but whatever and then what you want to do is you want to copy um, the fingerprint from the build prop file, paste it in here. And then here you want to follow the same pattern. So like, for example, Google Pixel 7a. And so if you look at the stuff here, like this the Android version, so 13. The next is the manufacturer, so that's Google. And then next is the device name. So that'll be pixel 7a, then equals, and then whatever equals is, you know, your fingerprint. 
And so as you can see, if we go to like pixel 6a or 6 or whatever, 6 pro, it's like, you know, the same, exactly the same thing here. So you just want to do that. And then you can save the file here and you can, and then when you save the file, uh, WinRAR will show up saying that Prince was modified. Do you wish to update in the archive? You could just press yes. And so before I do that, I'm just going to remove the duplicate field here. Just going to close this out and do the same thing. And now you can just close this here and you have a modified um, Magisk Hive thingy here. So now what you want to do is you want to open, uh, you want to install this in Magisk on your phone. Then after you install it, you would want to reboot the phone. And after you reboot the phone, um, I'll show you what to do now. So I'm just going to pause the video while I set some things up. All right. So now here we are in the phone after a reboot. So all we need to do is open up um, Termux or yes, yeah, so open up Termux, download it from F Droid. And then here, what you want to do is you want to type SU. And then, so now you are root, you have root access. And what you want to do is you want to type in props like so. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger for you boys. All right. So just wait for this whole thing to, you know, uh, do its thing. All right, so now for you, uh, you probably won't have an active sign at the top. So just press uh, one to edit the device fingerprint. Now here, press F to pick from a certified fingerprint list. And then here we want to search for Google, which is seven. And then it's going to spit out all of the uh, Google things. And so, as you can see, we have our custom Google Pixel 7a fingerprint here. So what you want to do is you want to pick a 33, then just press enter. And then it's going to ask you, um, do you want to continue? And then you just press Y. And it's going to ask you to press Y again to reboot after. So you just press Y again. Uh, I'm just going to exit because, you know, I already did it. All right. And I'm going to exit from here. And going to exit the actual terminal as well, like so. And so what this was supposed to solve was if I go into my other profile here. All right. It's going to ask me. Or a password. Um, so I'm going to type that in real quick. All right. What is this? It needs to show a screen. No, oh, fuck that. It doesn't need to show shit. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to solve, you know, this issue here where um, it's supposed to pass the CTS profile match. But uh, obviously, since I'm, you know, well, not obviously, but since I'm using Graphene OS, um, they do things like a little bit differently. So it um, doesn't pass, unfortunately. So which means I unfortunately won't be able to use uh, Google Pay with Graphene OS by the looks of it. Um, I'll still keep trying, you know, some fixes, but um, it's like, you know, it it's a good bit different from Android itself. So that's why uh, the simple stuff like this isn't, you know, working. <laughs> but uh, yeah, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, Google Pay isn't exactly very private. <laughs> So yeah, that's, you know, not really a big issue. But yeah, um, that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys, how to add custom fingerprints to this module. 
and so yeah because I found the process you know to be a little bit uh, you know not as straightforward as I thought because it took me a while to <laughs> figure out all this stuff you know so uh, hopefully this helps some of you boys and if it does that's great so yeah uh, thanks for watching boys and bye bye